Heavy security is a complete solution, both for workload and classic client. Um, the feature is uh, working both from or from 2.6 all the way up to the latest version of the Rotor client release. Contain two solutions, uh, field level action and data security. That is all security beyond what standard NME allow you to do. The other part of the solution is the roles and logins, and it's a set of tools for NME security. And let's take a look at that now to begin with. This one is uh, 2013 R2. And what I want to do here is actually create a new role. Role has uh, a lot of complexity to it, many um, permissions required. But with easy security, all you do is just have to record the permissions. And I'll go ahead and start my recorder in here. And then I will go and edit a customer. As I start, uh, I can see back here that uh, a lot of things happening in the recorder back here. I just go ahead and change an address and uh, I just put in a single field change in here and I will then go stop my trace in here. The trace is by the way the SQL profiler so that's a standard part of the SQL database tools in here. So uh, I'll go ahead and save this one. New customer and then go back to NAV and uh, easy security. I'll create a new role, edit customer. I'll attach my recording that I did in here and I'll import my SQL profiler trace. What it's doing during the import is actually finding both objects uh, and um, data and it's also sorting it by the user, by the database, by the company. So I can actually go and only pick certain of them. I'm just going to select all the records in here and just being able to edit a single customer is actually 84 permissions in here. I can take a look at what was recorded and I can see I need to read and modify my customer. But we also record the objects being executed and that's allow a whole new level of permissions actually to be uh, set up based on objects also down here. But let's attach my uh, recording in here and then go update my role. Another important feature is that based on the source code analysis of the actual database code, we will add additional permissions in here. So when I look at it here now, my customer, I had a recorded permission that I needed to read and modify. But if I can modify my customer, I need to look up to a lot of places. And that's all the additional permissions. That's what Easy Security actually give you in here. So that's how easy it is actually to um, do recording of new permissions. And it removes all the complexity of building new roles in here. As you also um, get Easy Security, we have a lot of demo data where we already have done a lot of the work in here. So customer edit, for example, we have taken that one and we have already created those roles based on recording. And again, the source code analyzer give you the extra permissions you need in here. When you have all these new roles based on task, we allow you to build groups in here. And I've created some groups uh, like a customer service, finance, finance manager, and so on. These ones are really what matches everything a user needs to do in here. And when we go and assign this group to a user, we only need to assign a single line. So if John is actually the finance manager, I only have to select the finance manager group in here. And the same way as we can actually do for um, the roles, we can also group the companies in here. So if John is a finance manager and he needs to work in two different companies, I can build a group of those companies and that's actually what I assigned to John in here. So that's the key features of Easy Security. A recorder to allow simple roles, a lot of roles being delivered with the system based on recordings and a very simplified maintenance of users. So let's just go in here and uh, look at the details. We also have 
expiration of access controls. So we can actually give temporary permissions that automatically will be removed when the expiry date comes. All the extra roles, we can do restore points. So when you change permissions, we can actually roll back to previous permission and we have up to global security. And 